the ocean serves as a sink for, for all the carbon dioxide generated by uh, burning fossil fuels. And sort of the net reaction of that is that our oceans have become more acidic over time. The reason Alaskans should care is that we have roughly a $5 billion industry uh, in fisheries. And because our waters are generally very cold, uh, they absorb more gas. So because of that, we expect that we're going to see you know, the impacts of OA happen sooner than we will in other areas. What time do you have, Marina? 12.51. Oh, okay. We're going to go down and get a sample for our pH sensor. It looks good. We can put it back in the water, but if we have really weird or errant readings, uh, we pull it out we live in coastal communities that depend on the marine environment and so helping in that directly supports our communities economies you know and you know how they work and how they play and how they live so what we'll do Liza's will go down and we'll take our bottle sample we'll the first it back up. project that I submitted to Sea Grant uh, was focused on species that were of subsistence importance so in coastal Alaska <laughs> The little neck and the cockle right, are um, really prized as a food source. You know, sometimes you, you're, you're dealing with this big problem and you're looking at it across the whole country or, you know, even... And really, where we got to solve problems is at the local level, at the community, but it's also where we have the opportunity to solve them. I come down once a week, rain or shine, and on the holidays, <laughs> end up down here every Thanksgiving. <laughs> Uh, I'm Stephen Payton, the environmental technician for the Seldovian Village Tribe. This is the spot. Is it? So, uh, we call it the inorganic carbon sampling, monitoring ocean acidification over time. I think there's the concern that it, yeah, then it's harming <laughs> subsistence resources like clams and things like that. Yeah, I've got kids too, so it's kind of uh, personal in that way. Because you know, if uh, ocean acidification keeps going the way it is, I don't know what what life is going to be like for them, and when they're my age or when they're you know, 50 years down the road. <laughs> kind of try and cap it sooner than later, because if there's any boats and the exhaust is blowing in this direction, that could actually. Uh, possibly affect the sample. I think this is uh, number 210. <laughs> 210 weeks. I always cramp up taking my foot off. Because <laughs> you have to do the foot flex. Yeah, it's hard. Oh, when do we yeah, look hard. at the data? Oh my gosh, that's like the most exciting thing. Sea uh, Grant is hugely important because it is a the outreach arm of ocean science in the state of Alaska. Working with Sea Grant, we can then take what we're doing here at the lab and translate it to help across the state in ways that we couldn't do by ourselves, but really working together. Really not trying to scare people, but really trying to educate people and giving them the tools to be able to make an informed decision about how they want to, you know, exist in the world, I think is really important. And Sea Grant helps us do that.